Hello everyone, I'm your host Aquaman, welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. In our previous episode, never again, at least not at this level, never again. We entered a Daedric Shrine, never again. Please. <laughs> Kevin, um, came too close to death many times, and you're not going to believe this, but we missed a chest floating above that huge lava pit where a very unique Warhammer is, called Skull Crusher. It is a super rare artifact, one of a kind, and there is even a Daedric Face of Terror helmet. I don't know if it's in the same chest, or if it's somewhere in there that we missed, but after going through all of that, we missed the most important item that we could have gotten going through all that stuff. Today we are beginning our episode right outside Aldruin because, according whoa, I rock. I thought that was a Kagaudi. Because a commenter wanted us to get started on the next section of the main quest. Now, let me tell you about this part of the main quest. By the way, we can ignore that woman. She's actually very rude. This part of the main quest, the place we're going to, is divided up into about six different sections. Six different sections. It's huge. Larger than the Urshalaku burial caverns. Quite honestly, this is going to be one of the largest places in the game, and it will take even longer to get through than the Urshalaku burial caverns did. Claire Fraser? Die. May you be reincarnated as a rat. What was I saying? Cliff Racer interrupt us, my gosh. Ah yes, this place that we're going to go to is larger than the Archilaco Burial Caverns. You thought that it took us a long time to get through the Burial Caverns? <laughs> well, yeah, you haven't seen anything yet. Here we are at Buckmoth Fort, finally. How about this time? And we need to talk to her. She is Race Stop it. Race Apulia, the champion of the Legion Garrison at Buckmoth Legion Fort. How do I know all this stuff in advance? Well not only have I played this game a lot, not only do I look stuff up online on the Wikipedia, but I had to re-record this because the game froze. I digress. What about Narmok? Uh she's giving us directions. Okay. Battle of the Coast. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so we're looking for Ilan Nubi. Before we get onto that any further, let's ask about the sixth house base. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with corpus disease and out of his wits. In his ravings, he spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Ilan Nubi. It's not under maps. Try asking locals in Narmok. They fought with cultists and disfigured man beasts. Corpus monsters, I think. They fled the attackers and got lost in the caves, and they ran into a half man creature named Dagoth. Gares. Oh. Crap. This day Goth Gares slew the rest of the patrol but spared the one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared so that he might tell others that the sleeper awakes and the sixth house has risen and Dagoth Ur is lord and I am his priest and all will be one with him in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him, and he didn't respond to questions, just kept rambling on like a madman until he died. Doesn't this sound fun? So where is it? That's what the dead trooper called the sea caverns where he found the sixth house space. It's not on the maps, and no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Narmot can tell you where to find it, or you may have to search for it yourself. Okay. So, the easiest way to get there may be to take a whole bunch of uh, fast travel transport. Is that the old room? Wow, it's like right over the hill. The easiest way to get there, though not the cheapest, is to... You have three, two shadows, dude. I hope you're aware of that. Two shadows. Anyway, <laughs> the fastest way to get there, and the easiest way, is to take a whole bunch of fast travel locations until you eventually end up in Narmok. I am going to take the faster route. 
Here is Buckmoth Legion Fort, here is Aldrune. Here is Narmok. Since we have the Boots of Blinding Speed and the Arena Finaster equipped, Tally Ho! Well, over the mountains, past the Grazelands, through the swamp, welcome to Narmok. We've been here once before, where we got these special boots we are wearing right now. Okay. Let's take off these boots, put on the glass boots, and now let's see if we can ask around and find out where the heck Ilan Nimby is, or whatever it is. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. I don't friggin' care, you know what? What? Where's my... Where the heck is it? There it is, Zenithar's Wilds. Why is it not alphabetically... Whatever. There, now tell me about Ilanibi. Ilanibi Caverns, that's what they call the old sea cave up on the north end of the island. Right on Kartog Point? Don't be poking your nose in there, someone might object. Yes, yeah, someone certainly would. What the heck is Kartog Point though? Yes, that's on the western coast not far from here. It's a gigantic boulder. Some of the orcs considered a landmark. Why? I don't know. Some orc or another jumped off out on a dare. It didn't end well. <laughs> oh, orcs, you are all morons. Okay, so on the north end of the island... So, is that it? Kartog Point. Okay, so let's start heading up that direction. Ilanebi is definitely a cavern, and I knew there was one in this area when I came to Narmak a long time ago. I just didn't search it out, and I wasn't even aware that it was a special cavern of sorts. I was afraid of that. Great, I contracted Helljoint. I knew I shouldn't have activated him. I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! Cure common disease. Where is my... That is cure blight disease. Where is my cure common disease? Cure common disease. Cure... There it is. Cure common disease. Wow, I've got a lot of them. Right. Let's equip the bow. Just because I'm afraid of guys like you interrupting me again. Stop moving. Sounds like I shot twice, and I killed him in one. Cool. Or one and a half. Cartog Point, awesome. I think it's in this area. Very in this area. I just had a problem with disease. I shouldn't have checked his body. Oh, great, there's another one. Is that Illinibi? Pretty sure that's Illinibi. <sighs> Illinibi. Carcass of the Saint. Oh, boy. Fine. Here we go. Welcome to a very dangerous and high level cave. And one that is required to progress in the main quest. I'm going to be probably going as slow as I did in the Daedric Ruins. Some of you might object to that, but is there something down here? I thought so, but I guess not. I don't know this place as well as I know the Urshalaku Burial. Somebody heard me. I don't see. Oh, wait, there's someone. Come on, die, 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 die. Shoot! He's right on me. Fine, Ilku Rock. I have contracted with her. Lovely. Friggin' lovely. I was about to switch weapons, but then I got him. A dreamer. Iron club, worthless, large wrapped corpus meat. It's completely worthless, weighs a pound, and has stuff on it. Well, I'm gonna take it anyway because for alchemical purposes. It will be extremely useful later, and I can increase that off-screen. Let's go back to something I can use a little bit better than a spear. Assuming I can spot the enemy. It's kind of important. Uh, let's go straight ahead. Very careful. Is this where he came from? Hello, dead adventurer. Oh, great. 
Iron Shard Slayer. Frost damage. Not really worth it. But we'll take this and this and this. And Bone Mold? Yeah, what the heck. Ooh, a Dwemer Shield. Totally worth it. That's not really worth it. Okay. Oh, you're a female. Woohoo! Hmm. I think I just heard somebody equip something. I think I did. I never use a thief ring anymore. Oh, the five fingers of pie. I'm still holding on to this. Maybe we'll affect somebody with it if they get up close to us. I have no idea which is the right way and which is the wrong way. Is that Nash Slave? Ha! The chairs, the tables, all confused. We hear the words and must speak them. We take them and arrange them, but still, they will not be quiet. This is actually an Easter egg. The Ash Slaves are enemies, but you can talk to them, and they're a little bit crazy. We won't get in trouble for attacking him, although they are certainly stronger than I remember. Shoot. Okay, this... Where'd you go? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on, get him, get him. Thank you. Ash Slave had Ash Salts, one of those rare ingredients. They are a really troublesome enemy. Ah, Bomb Amulet. That's what I was wanting, actually. Oh, boy. I can't see where I'm going. Is that a door? I think it is. <laughs> Marowak Spine. This is another Pokemon reference. Um, I'm actually going to go back a little ways. Check out that other direction. Just because I'm a little, a little bit worried about somebody sneaking up on me when I'm trying to leave. And when we try to leave this cave eventually, we're going to have some big problems. I don't know if that's a spoiler, but... I know that there's going to be some serious problems when we try to leave. And I won't say anything more than that. I can't see a bloody thing. I could equip Ilkarok, but then I'd have to go all the way back to my bow. Where are the enemies? Oh, there they are. Come on, hit him. Hit him. There we go. Man, the Poe is powerful. Ash Slave takes back the Iron Arrow only. Okay. There's another door, actually. Weird. Um, Tainted Marrow. I don't know which one I'm supposed to go to. Uh, okay, let's go in here. Hello? Anybody home? Not initially. Oh, there's someone. Come on, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Darn it, I can't shoot. This one looks different. I think. Ash Zombie. Spiked Club? Eh, not really worth it. Two Ash Salts, and I'll leave the body there. Uh, shoot, someone's coming. Is that a Dramora? I think that's a Dramora. Oh crap, it is, it is! Die, 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 die. Freaking Dramora. What do you have on him besides a, oh. Another ebony broadsword. Well, that was a pain to sell the last one, so I'm not going to take it, surprisingly. Oh, speaking of which, Kevin's gold amount. I don't know what it is right now. Let's find out. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Kevin could afford five houses or something with that. My goodness. Um, is there anything in here? Intentionally equip Ilkarok so I can see where I'm going. Nothing. Okay. Oh, I see another enemy over there. He's actually easier to see in the dark than he is in the light. Sort of. Come on. Hit the darn thing. There we go. Where's the body? There's the body. Take that back, thank you. 
Oops. Need to keep a careful eye on my recording time. I'm moving along much faster in time than I was aware. Someone around the corner. <coughs> this is what happens when you get corpus disease for a long time. Come on. Spear's supposed to have a long reach. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. There we go. Oh, jeez! You got me. <sighs> Lame corpus. Had a corpus weeping. These are pretty rare. Just gonna grab those, take them with me, and I would really like to have that ring of hop toad I got in one of my playthroughs so I can up there really easily. And while I'm wishing, I would like a pony. Nothing of interest up here. Alright, carry on. Is someone over there? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're safe. Hi. Alright, so into Marowak Spine after all. Oh, great! Shoot. Don't you do that to me. Don't you do that to me! No, oh, boy. Don't. Oh, no, 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 Die, 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 die. Deidre, die. Deidre, die. Deidre, die. Deidre must die faster. Faster. Die. Please die. Oh, my gosh. Kevin's gonna... Oh, Kevin's not gonna make it if he fires off another... Ooh, boy. Come on, come on. Get the boat, get the boat, get the boat, get the boat. Come on. Fire! Oh, shoot! Don't you hit me with that! Okay. Time to heal. That is really annoying. Where's a random restore health potion that... Okay. You don't. Taste my Viper Sword! Die! 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 <sighs> Got him. <sighs> you have contracted Ash Woe Blight. Terrific. Now I have both a disease and a blight. Isn't that lovely? Skeleton? I can handle a skeleton. Hopefully. Jeez, that took forever. Oh, it's a skeleton champion, that's why. <sighs> okay. We're actually making really fast progress. We're getting through a lot of areas way faster than I was predicting. What is that? That can't be just a regular torch sitting down, can it? It is! Just stuck in the dirt. Alright. Make our way by slowly. Actually, I should check on my stats because I'm afraid of what I might have. And nothing's fortifying, so... Oh! Ow! Cure common disease and cure blight disease. I'm skipping my potions. What the heck is wrong with me? Cure blight disease! And then a potion of... Cure common disease. Check my stats. Awesome. This is crazy. Who and where are you? Wait, there's two? There's three! First the Ash Zombie. Then this Dreamer. Then that Dreamer. Come on, die! Perish! That was simpler than I was expecting. Large Trap Corpus Meat. Hatch Salts. Large Trap Corpus Meat. This is a big place. I think I see a body. Two bodies? Nope, just one body with really long legs. Silver spark axe? Eee, okay. And this, this, this. Bone mold Sheila, okay. Drew Oh man. Uh nothing else looks worth it, so. Hmm. I wonder if I should stop now or keep going. I'm going to go just a little bit farther. I don't know how much time I took up with the uh, fast forwarding of jumping over to Narmak. So we'll do a little bit more exploration. And get into trouble.
Leave the body. Leave the body. Should really leave the body. And I suddenly sound like I equipped a ring for some unknown reason. Door. I'm actually getting a little bit worn out. I feel tired getting through this cave. Blackened heart. All right. And where's the other one go to? Tainted marrow? Huh. Okay. So, black and heart next, I guess. I don't know if this is the last one. If I think it is, we might go on further. Shoot. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit longer episode because I think this is the end of the cave. At least I think this is the end. Let me do a quick check to make sure. Actually, no, it's not. We have one more place after we get through here, but I see someone down the road. We should die. So after I kill him, we will end the episode here. Just need to kill. Actually, you should come up here so I can raid your corpse. That's it. Come on. Come on. Now you die. I said now you die. Hey! Whoa! You're not supposed to get this close. There. Skeleton champion. Dead. Through bone meal. And, um, I could take this other stuff and just sell it in between episodes. Alright, you guys. Um, if you want me to keep exploring this cave, post it in the comments below. What I can do, now that I have this available to me, is I can set a mark spell right here and then go do some other quests if you want. Then use recall to come back here when we're ready to come back. So if you think I should continue on the main quest and get through this cave that is somehow much shorter than I was expecting. I don't remember what place I was thinking of before. What the heck is wrong with my brain? My brain is screwed up. Stupid brain. Then let me know in the comments, and if there's something else you want Kevin to do, let me know. Either way, come back next weekend for more Morrowind. See you then.